Telepathy is the idea that if you are matching the frequency of another human being, you will have similar thoughts at the same time that they do. This is why people who are in love often know exactly what each other are thinking and can finish each other's sentences because they're on the same wavelength. They're having the same thoughts at the same time. So telepathy is not reading someone else's mind, it's reading your own mind. But you're reading the thoughts in your own mind that are harmonizing with the thoughts of someone else's mind at the same time because you're on the same frequency. So when we learn to redefine what some of these abilities are all about, I think we will start to experience them more in more people because we'll have a deeper understanding of how they're created. Another example might be something like deja vu. <clears throat> Almost everyone has experienced this kind of idea. And from Bashar's perspective, there can be many reasons for the experience of deja vu to occur. One of them goes back to what we talked about in another episode about parallel realities. If you are connecting to other people in parallel realities, even other versions of yourself, so to speak, that are living other kinds of lives, have taken other paths than you took in a parallel version of Earth, if you're able to tap into that, and sometimes there might be bleed through or tapping in unconsciously, you might be able to pick up on something that someone, another version of you in another reality has already done that you haven't done yet but are leading up to it. If you pick up on what that person has done because for some reason your vibrational frequencies overlap and you lock together and information is exchanged or downloaded on some level between you, then you might suddenly feel when you arrive at that particular situation that I've done this before, this feels really familiar. I know exactly what's gonna happen because it feels like I've done it before. So one possible explanation might be that you're getting bleed through from a parallel version of you in another reality that has already done that. Another possibility is as spirits, <clears throat> we do tend, maybe not for every little detail, but we do tend to sort of plan out the life we're going to live in physical reality. We create a kind of blueprint for the entire life the challenges we'll face, the themes we're exploring, all of that. And maybe sometimes very specific incidents with very specific timing. It's very famous that sometimes certain people know the exact moment of their death and they predict it, and that's exactly when they die. So it could be that some people leave that kind of thing sort of open-ended for whatever comes along when they're done with their exploration of physical reality, so they can kind of leave any time. And some people may be very, very deliberate about the time that they're going to wake up back into spirit. So the idea is that if we do, in fact, have some kind of blueprint for the life we're going to live as a physical being, then sometimes while we're living it, maybe again, there's a little bit of bleed through, we tap into that blueprint and we know ahead of time, so to speak, something that we're going to do. So that when we again catch up to that blueprint, something we were planning to do in the physical life, it may feel very familiar like we've already done it because it already exists in the non-physical blueprint. Because this is the true meaning of as above, so below. It's not the other way around. It's not as below, so above. It's as above, that's where everything begins, that's where we set up everything, that's where everything really exists, and then it transmutes and descends down and crystallizes into this physical experience, because the physical experience is the dream that we have planned to have. So when we arrive at picking up on that blueprint, we may feel, well, we've been here before, somehow, on some level, and therefore we have this deja vu experience. 